Yo people, it's H. Right now with my massage. Let's do this. I have tried ASMR before. I think it's quite fun. I do this on a regular basis. Every weekend. That's a lie. I've never done this before. And it's quite weird. My name's H. I'm from Manchester, UK. I like to rap. I like to party. And now, I like to do ASMR. If you didn't know, I'm the coldest rapper to come out of the UK. If you don't know, get to know. If you don't know, you will know very soon. The process. Behind H2O. Officer H, H2O, water. You get me? People say, I've got a very good flow. And all the songs on there, even though they are completely different, somehow they just flow together nicely. So we put my name and the element of water and mixed it together. My favourite song on H2O is probably taste however it depends what day it is because sometimes i like to listen to taste sometimes i like to listen to bust down sometimes i like to listen to already it just depends what mood i'm in this is what i do i make music for all types of moods and days of the week so i'm sure you will not be disappointed if you go and get used to it working on a lot of shit i've been living in the studio i've been sleeping in the studio i've been making some hits i feel like i almost very almost have the uk on lockdown so now it's time to enter the states and do the same over here so i'm spending more time out here doing studio sessions and creating new music for my new ep the last EP, H2O, was just a vibe. It wasn't really taken too seriously. It was more a case of just letting people know the vibe and letting people have a good time and showing them what I'm about, that I don't just freestyle and I don't just rap. I can make all types of music. However, this new one... listening to it basically if you're happy I'm happy and that's all I want I just want people to be happy well I've got cream on the microphone my bad a couple years ago I would write a whole song on my phone and book a one hour studio session to save money because I knew I already had the song written so I'd just spend an hour recording it. However, things change. I've got busier. I've not really got time to sit on my phone and write bars all day like I used to. So, now we just go to the studio. I'm not going to be able to do this. No. Nope. I've got creamy hands. So now, I just go to the studio, get the producer to fire out some beats and see where we go from there. That's the process. I give up. It won't work. 
I'm not being a bit Jeeva. Someone else can try it. You won't do it. I promise you. I will describe my style as fun, energetic. It's just a vibe. It's just all good vibes. And, you know, I just do me. I don't really watch anyone else's business. I just kind of go with the flow and stay being me. And I think that's what people appreciate about me. Because I'm not trying to be anything that I'm not. And I'm not trying to represent something that I don't really represent. Do you get me? So, in that case, I just do me. And hopefully, people like it. If not, it is what it is. But if you do like it, thank you very much. And please continue to like it. blend it for too long because if you blend it for too long the milkshake goes too like watery and too too liquidized you need it thick like my girl my music doesn't really represent who i am inspired by i'm more just i'm more just inspired by successful when I see other people who are successful whether it's rappers actors people who work in an office whatever if you're successful I'm inspired by that and I want to be successful as well so basically anyone who's just successful I'm on that same vibe but growing up you know I think I was like a big 50 cent fan I think 50 cent made me want to rap I think so I'll give the I'll give the inspiration card to 50. 50 can have that. I would like to collaborate with the guy, I forgot his name, but the guy who made Roxanne. You know the song Roxanne? Arizona, Arizona, Arizona. I fuck with him. That tune's a banger. And that's my little sister's favourite song. So if I come home one day and said to my sister, I've got a song with the guy who made Roxanne. She would be happy and proud of me. So, yeah, that one's on the list. If you're watching this, bro, hit me up. I got something for you. Something that people don't know about me is that I am. Uh, what do people not know? I've not really got much secrets. I'm quite open to everything. Everyone really knows what I'm about. So, there's not really anything hidden. You know what I'm saying? People who don't know me in the music industry, when I tell them I'm a rapper, they just look at me like I'm like I've just told them to fuck off. So I would say that from the outside point of view, people would never ever think that I'm a rapper. How do I keep grounded? I just be myself, man. That's all you can do. You just gotta be yourself. And hopefully, you know, it stays that way. You never know. One day I might turn around and think. Fuck this, I'm gonna go crazy. But for now, that's not the case. I'm all good, and I think it'll stay that way. You should expect many things from me this year. I'm definitely gonna be spending more time in the States. Mixing up some shit. I'm spending more time in the States. Just putting my face out there. More bangers, more music. Just, just more H, more H, more H. That's what you should expect this year. I love this. This is my shit. What I want you to do is, I want you to go check out my new single, Rain, with AJ Tracer. It's lit. The video's lit. The song's lit. Take Eve on the beat. Can't go wrong. Two British boys. American producer. What more can I say?
and get lit. Shout me, H to all pool party. Yo, people, this has been H ASMR Mind Massage. Catch me on Instagram at H A I T C H. Yes, yeah, stay lit. <laughs>